Never before has a like, retweet, or otherwise mindless online activity been so reflective of the state of American politics. Social media acts as glue for like-minded people. Social media also makes information sharing available to the masses, and it helps individuals with very narrow interests quickly and easily connect with others who share their beliefs. Sensational headlines and memorable memes on social media add a whole new dimension to politics and help fuel momentum for the candidates during the past election. Social media gives people the power to organize and inform, but it's also frequently used to exhibit narcissism and ignorance. Such behavior reflects the uglier side of the political discourse. I feel like social media has allowed us to see how political figures actually feel about the different ethnicities and peoples. The efforts by candidates to reach the millennial demographic was also an important component to campaigns during the election. The reason for this is simply because young adults are shifting more of their attention online to social networks to get their news and information. Candidates naturally incorporated social media in their campaigns to stand out to this extremely vital and ever-growing generation of millennials. Both candidates were very active on Twitter, a very common social media platform, and I think that they used it to relate to young people, but in the worst way. It has become clear that social media was the game changer in this historic election, directly affecting each candidate over the past year.